Hello everyone and welcome back to Navis Noble. I am Captain Zelnick and we are continuing the ship overviews for the named Chaos character vessels. And we are on to Slanesh's Wage of Sin, the Emperor's Children Battle Barge. Sitting at 430 points, it is, it is exactly the same point cost as the tem uh, Terminus Est. And what you get out of this ship is something of a perfect harmony of what any Chaos player could potentially want in a battleship. Going on to its stat line, it is a Battleship 12, 25 centimeter speed, 45 degree turns, 4 shields, 5 up armor, and 4 turrets. It has the same basic stat line as a Desolator. If you look at its firepower, a port and starboard, 45 centimeter lance at strength 4, left and right, and a dorsal weapons battery at strength 6, front, left, and right, at 60 centimeters. It has launch capacity 6, out of port and starboard, and a prow strength 9 torpedo. This is effectively the combination of a Styx heavy cruiser and a desolator, and it creates a particularly lethal vessel. Now let's look at its uh, special rules. It bears for free the mark of Slanesh. No surprises there. It has the same flagship rules. You can't take this with uh, corn unless Abaddon is there, and simply put, that's not to be surprised because you don't bring a spiked dildo to a uh, Slanesh fight, plain and simple. I mean, unless you're into that. Maybe I shouldn't have made that reference, but either way. Um, the Palace of Pleasure special rule is the glittering domes and spires of the ancient vessel are dedicated to every perverse and extreme form of stimulation imaginable, and a retinue of noise marines have made it their permanent conveyance. The ship always counts as being crewed by Chaos Space Marines included in the cost, uh, following the rules on 2.11. Uh, so it basically comes into the game with Space Marines, which is very important for its Dread Claws, and it comes into the game with the Mark of Slanesh. Now, this is a little bit of a contrary point for the vessel because it is a medium to long range vessel. It's really not meant to get too particularly close, but I suppose if you have to get close, I mean, you're at least well set up to ruin somebody's leadership that day. This vessel is the most elegant of all of the uh, spe uh, the special battleships for the individual legions of chaos, simply because you have all of the benefits and advantages of the Desolator battleship with launch capacity. So that means it is an excellent hunter of smaller vessels. And even with its dread claws and the noise marines on them, it becomes effective at hunting larger vessels because you can start disabling other enemy vessels of their firepower, making it much easier for you to take them down. While it doesn't necessarily have the perfect amount of firepower to knock down their shields, if you cause enough fires or engine room damages, it doesn't matter. And if you cripple that enemy battleship, this suddenly becomes an effective firepower to finally finish it off. Its advanced speed means that it can outrun other enemy battleships, and you can make the decision on when and where you want to engage. Not to mention that Strength 9 Torpedo is always effective against just about everything in the game. This is a beautiful ship. I love the Wage of Sin. I love the way it looks. I love the way it plays. It is a phenomenal vessel if you are a Slanesh fan. By all means, take this vessel. It is excellent. Thank you all for watching. We're going on to the final ship now real soon.